Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about some tips that should help you make some huge money on Shoreline, one of the original get-rich-quick maps in Escape from Tarkov. Shoreline was already a pretty great place to make some money, but in the 0.12 patch some extremely valuable items like LedX were added to the loot pool on this map, and now a good raid can sometimes net you a few million rubles, or something like 20 million if you get the legendary red keycard drop. Unlike some of the other maps though, Shoreline doesn't have a lot of loot just sitting in the open, with most of it being locked behind closed doors or in safes scattered around the map. After watching this video though, I hope you should have a good idea of where you should be looking for the most valuable loot. So without any further delay, let's get into some tips for making money on Shoreline. As most players probably know by now, Shoreline's main attraction is the Health Resort, and it's where pretty much all of the most valuable loot on the map is located. Most of it is also locked up tight in dark little rooms, so you'll need to build up a decent set of keys if you want to grab a good haul from the resort. In the past, a resort key set was a massive investment of either time or money, and it was definitely out of reach to a lot of players. But since the key spawns and jackets were massively buffed, these keys have become much more accessible, and it's a very worthwhile investment as many of these keys can pay for themselves in a single run. For the first tip, I will go over my key set and quickly go over what you can find in each room, and then you can decide which keys you want to buy or try and find out in the raid. It's definitely easier to just buy them, but you can also check the official wiki page for spawn points if you would rather farm for them. I'll start off with the west wing of the resort, which is on the left hand side if you're looking from the helicopter. The west wing doesn't have a ton of different locked rooms, but each individual room you open has a lot of potential value in it. Starting on the first floor, I have the West Wing 112 office key, which has a blue keycard spawn near the TV and some other med spawns as well. Next on the first floor, I have the Office 104 key, which has a few med spawns, but most importantly can spawn a LedX on the medical shelving and a blue keycard on the desk near the computer. Going up to the second floor, this is where most of the good spawns are in the West Wing, and this hallway starts off with what I call the Tri Room which can be accessed with the West Wing 222, 221, or 218 key. These three rooms have several weapon spawns, a bunch of medical loot, and the insanely rare red key card. 218 is the most important room of the three because it spawns the red card on the blue water barrels and an RSAS in the bathroom on the boxes. If you get lucky and find the red card, you're pretty much set for life, so this is a very popular spot for people to check. The next room on this floor that you want to hit is West Wing 220, where you can find some rare barter loot and tons of medical drops, plus some weapon crates. Just down the hall from this is West Wing 216, where you can find rare electronics loot on the cardboard box, plus a few weapon boxes, grenade boxes, and food spawns as well. This hallway is kind of the gold mine of the West Wing, but there is one more spot I like to loot on the third floor. It's kind of hidden, but if you go up to the far staircase and around to the back near the windows, you can find West Wing 301. This room has a bunch of barter loot spawns, including graphics cards and other tech loot, plus two computers you can search for flash drives and two possible LedX spawns, either on the white containers or on the bed or desk in the bedroom. Heading over to the East Wing, on the first floor I have the East Wing Office 107 key, where you can find another possible LedX spawn on the medical shelving, as well as some barter loot drops and medical loot. Up the stairs on the second floor, the East Wing room 222 or 226 key will get you into a pair of rooms with a ton of loot. In 226, there's two LedX spawns, one on the wooden shelving and another on the desk by the bed. In the other room here, 222, you can find some electronics loot like graphics cards on the workbench, plus a rare item spawn in the cardboard box in the bathroom. At the far end of the second floor, near the connecting bridge between the two wings, the East Wing 205 or 206 key will get you into a pair of rooms with three weapon crates, a bag, and two rare item spawns, one on the desk in 206 and one in the drawer on the bed in 205. Heading up to the third floor, the East Wing 306 or 308 key will get you into these two rooms with a few food spawns, plus some rare items on the bed and desk drawer, and four computers that you can search for flash drives and some money on the desks as well. 
Just around the corner from these rooms is East Wing 310, which has a bunch of rare item spawns on the table, plus two duffel bags that have pretty consistently great loot for me anyways. Next up on the third floor, the East Wing 313 or 314 key will get you into two rooms with a few weapon crates and medical spawns, but most importantly, a possible Ledex spawn on top of the boxes in 313. Just across the hall from here, East Wing 316 is a good one to check because it can spawn a lot of weapon attachments, and I frequently find thermal scopes in here which can sell for quite a bit. The last room I check on the third floor is East Wing Room 328, which can spawn rare electronics loot on the desk, a potential Ledex spawn on the desk, and a gold chain spawn on the table in the next room. That covers it for all the keys that I run when playing Shoreline, and it should give you an idea of which are the best to invest in if you want to pull out some really valuable loot. Check out how much they are going for on the flea market, and if you'd rather try and find one, the official wiki shows the spawn location of all of these keys. Alright. Are you serious right now? Whoa. As I said in the last section, you can find the lab's red keycard on Shoreline, and this one single item can make you very rich if you sell it for the going rate of around 20 million rubles. There is a few other keycard spawns aside from the ones in the locked rooms I mentioned, so here I'll go over the rest of them. First, in the East Wing, on the second floor, you'll find an open door to East Wing room 218. If you head across the balcony into East Wing 221, you can find a red keycard on the table in front of the laptop. I've heard people say they found the violet card here, but I've never personally seen either, so I can't confirm or deny that. Next, in the West Wing, if you head down into the basement, you can find a gym, and in this gym, there's another red keycard spawn. Check along the wall in these lockers with the water cooler on the left hand side and you might find yourself a red card. There's also a third blue key card spawn at the resort as well, in the passenger side of the ambulance sitting out front of the resort, so it's worth it to check that spawn too. These key card spawns are often contested because who doesn't want 20 million rubles, but if you're persistent, you'll be well rewarded should you ever find the legendary red key card. While most of the great loot on Shoreline is found in the main resort wings, you can also add some nice stuff to your backpack by checking the smaller buildings at the resort and other points of interest which contain a lot of safes. At the resort, the admin building in the center of the structure is a pretty great spot to loot and doesn't really need any keys. You can find a ton of computers, filing cabinets, and shelves loaded with good barter items if you check carefully. You can also get keys for two locked safes in this building, the admin safe and the warehouse safe but it's not really necessary to get most of the loot in there. In my video about loot spots that don't need keys, I go into detail on where all of the spawns in this building are. So if you want to check that out, go ahead, but just to save time on this one, I'm not going to go too much into detail. Another small building near the east wing of the resort, by the hole in the fence near the playground, is actually loaded with hideout loot like water filters and gas cans, plus a few jackets that you can search for keys. Down the hill from the resort, the bus depot and power station both have plenty of scavs to kill and loot, plus some toolboxes, jackets, and weapon crates in the buildings. You can find some good loot if you hit all the safes spread across the map as well, so I'll quickly show some of their locations for you. First, at the weather station, you can find a safe on the second floor of the building, near the computer. And this is a good one to hit if you spawn nearby for some easy loot. Also, make sure to check the server racks right next to it, because they can spawn some rare military items. Along the shoreline, near the pier, you can find what I call the bank, which has an upper level with two safes, one on each side. There is also a computer on each side here that you should check for flash drives. Next up, down at the village, you can find four safes in the two fenced-in cottages at the edge of the village near the power station. Each cottage has two safes, one of them is completely unlocked, and the other you'll need two keys to loot. These keys are called the cottage key and the cottage safe key, conveniently enough, and can both be found in the village. The cottage key is on the barrels right outside the cottage itself, and the safe key is on the bus near the tank. I might be missing a few things here, but outside of the resort, these are the main places that I check to add a bit of loot to my runs. Well that's about all the advice I have to offer for anyone looking to get rich on Shoreline. 
It's one of the absolute best maps in the game for huge profit margins, but it's also kind of an all or nothing map sometimes, where you either make millions, or basically collect the scraps from whoever made it to resort first. Hopefully you can use these tips to grab yourself a good haul, and be sure to leave a comment if you have a good LEDX farming run. I'll be streaming more of my progress in Escape from Tarkov on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jdogthewise, and it'd be great to have you drop by so I'll leave a link for that down in the description. I send out notifications on Twitter and Discord when I go live, so I'll link those below as well. Thanks for checking out the video, as always, feel free to leave any comments, corrections, or suggestions down below, and until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City. Ooh, that was so close.